Good day, everyone. How are we all? Hello, hello, hello. Uh, real quick, because there's going to be a bit of an in-depth video, uh, well, plenty of co content anyway, and just um, not so much in-depth, just plenty of content. What I'm doing is pruning some trees. Uh, I'm on acreage week this week. Uh, so with that, I've uh, had $1,200 a day yesterday. Today's going to be about $800. So aiming for that $1,000 a day, uh, always. But how you make it during the week is how you make it. So today, I would have usually a full day of acreage lawns to do. Being still coming out of winter, they're not all firing. Um, and therefore, I look after clients where I can and pick up other jobs, uh, book in other jobs, just to fill in the gaps. So today, I've got tree pruning works, um, just a couple of calistamins, bottle brushes, a um, little weeping willow sort of over the back, and just gonna prune it. The kids around the area have been swinging on them and uh, unfortunately breaking the branches. They're drooping and they're sort of in the way when mowing anyway, uh, and we just let them go for as long as we could for the birds, uh, and now we're just going to give them a bit of a prune back. But because it's here, I've got the trailer, but I've also got the mowers on there ready for the uh, lawns at the end of the day. So what I typically do is just tuck their mowers away, hide them out of sight, shoot straight to the tip, come back, pick them up. Um, it's pretty much all I can do in situations like this. You can leave them at home, but then that's another trip you've got to take. Um, and if any day I could have done it, I could have done it today. Uh, simply because these acreages are literally two minutes down the road. But this is what I do normally, um, and it's just still more convenient doing it this way, especially given that after this job, there's just around, one around the bend, and there's another hedge trimming uh, works to be done there. Just a real basic one, um, uh, just to tidy up for a neighbour that's stuck in Queensland right now due to COVID, and um, she was just worried that it was going to get a bit out of hand before they even get back here, so... Just a real quick neaten up, tidy up of that. And that's about it. Uh, and then it's the two acreages. So I'll try and get some footage of the acreages. If I don't, I apologize right now. But uh, yeah, just that's probably the message of this video is just because you're earning a bit less today and I took a bit of an easier day today as well, I could have booked a full day, you know. Um, yesterday, even with that 1,200, that was a one o'clock finish. So you weigh it up. Um, that's still pretty, pretty bloody good in my books. Uh, and then today, obviously, is going to be around that same time. It's just not as lucrative today. Um, there's only so much you can charge for something like this. And as you can see, the pretty birdies are still enjoying it. It's just um, got to be done. <laughs> They're picking at the bits. But yeah, I'll uh, probably uh, leave that one. I'll do the one to the left first. Give the birds a chance. I'll probably go away as soon as I get that chainsaw out. So it's just the multi-tool is what I use. Uh, and that'll do guys. I'll shoot through to the footage. Thanks for watching. Bye
Righto guys, I'm uh, on the way to the tip, hour and a half later. So, two things I want to mention just real quick. I'll give you a better view of everything all finished too when I get back to pick mowers up. Um, but two things, when you're going to the tip, obviously this is your labour cost, okay? It goes without saying or it should do, um, but a lot of people don't factor in the travel to and from, especially when you're coming back for your gear. But even if you weren't and you're going to the next job, you take into account every minute, right? up until you do whatever you want in your business. But if I've ticked over one minute into that following hour, that next hour gets charged. I don't do half an hour block rates. I do hourly figures based on a block rate that I come up with and all the rest, you know what I mean? So by the time I'm done for what I've done here, just a quick prune, had two Marayas to prune as well. And they were just touching the gutters. Uh, so the client just wanted them down. By the time I'm done, it'll be two hours um, of actual labor. By the time I get to the tips, only sort of five to 10 minutes down the road, five minutes to unload, 10 minutes back. That puts us around that nine o'clock figure with that other job just around the bend. 240 to 280 is the price range for this, okay? That's for me, doing what I'm doing, hitting my targets that I need to achieve, as well as doing the job that I know, even with two workers, if we we're here, would we'll roughly be here for a similar time, it's, it's, it's more money for the client, you know what I mean? So I've got to, just because I'm working faster, doesn't mean that I take that money off. Um, I allow for as if I'm gonna have a worker and what would this job be worth to us if we come here. So it was a quick job. And the thing is, by the time I was done pruning, that extra worker would have had it all thrown into the uh, trailer there, you know what I mean? So all them things, it's just, it, it, it literally halves the time. Um, and it means that you could do like 10 of these jobs a day. It's just real quick jobs. Um, and you're still hitting them $1,200 um to two thousand dollar figure um you know what i mean that's that's the way you got to look at it so with that uh i think that's about it i'll get on to this next one i don't know how much more footage i'll get today because i've got plenty i think today um different camera angle camera angles a bit of a <laughs> couldn't talk there for a second uh all right so i'll get something at this next job with the uh, hedge trimming and then that'll do Thanks for watching, bye. Okie dokie, final look guys. Just real quick tidy up, nothing special. Bit of a shape. Get it with a chainsaw, come through with a polish with the uh, head trimmer there. Same with these ones, took them right back. They're gonna grow back quick as these Marayas. Um, the weather we've got coming up and have had of late, definitely just um, the type of plant that just really rapid growth. Not the best to hedge, um, don't leave the prettiest of finishes, but they're hardy. So we'll look to book in the rest of them, probably over springtime, and give it all a big neaten up. So, moles are still here, get this unlocked and um, get them in here, eh? See you at the next job, bye bye. Just while I'm thinking of it too, the other thing was uh, you would have seen I was squishing that right down. Now I'm not sure what size trailer you've got, but here the limit at the um, tip usually for contractors is eight by five, mine's a 10 by five, but technically the inside of the trailer is only that eight by five with the cages obviously. So they sort of say, oh, try and keep it as close to that water level, watermark, which is just like before the cage begins. and as close to that as I can get. So as long as I'm under sort of half, half the um, trailer height, then this uh, local tip will take it along with a tip ticket, which I've got from the client, which also saves them money. And I just think that that is something worth noting, simply because if you're in an area where you've got to go out and the next one is 20 minutes, you're gonna have to charge for that. And that goes on to your uh, hourly figure, your labor rate, your labor costs, okay? 
So that's something worth uh, mentioning there. Thought I'd throw that in there. Cheers guys, see you at the next job.
On to the last ones already, guys. Let's just uh, pull out the time for you. Let's see if you can see that. Just gone past 10 past 10. So, last two acreages for the day. Pinch myself sometimes. Bloody love, love this job. <laughs> so with these two, between the two, around that 500 mark. So what I was talking about this morning, uh, that 280, next one you would have seen is that other smaller hedge. Just a real quick job that uh, was just a tidy up. 75 bucks, okay? What's that, 335? Uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Maybe a bit more. Um, someone can put in the comments below for me. Sometimes doing math when I'm in front of the camera, I don't know what happens to me, eh? <laughs> anyway, um, these two, I'm guessing 12 o'clock, 12.30 at the latest. I'll give you a little time on a clock off, okay? I'm gonna take the mower. Um, one's just up this hill here, this hillside straight up the top. Uh, you would have seen it's a job. I'll put a little tag, whichever side that goes, of that job getting mowed. Um, so you can flick on over to that one after I've done this. You wouldn't have seen this other property down here before, but I'm waiting till uh, we get a bit more growth. Maybe not this much growth, but a bit more just to give some um, like striping action and a bit more enjoyable footage. Because at the moment it's just cleaning it up, getting it really prepared for this next spring season coming up. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you at the end when I show you the time. Get home and edit this, and that's my day. All right. So that's what I mean. That 800 figure, but 1200 yesterday. So I'm still hitting me thousand for the two. And that's just how I'm working it at the moment with myself. Um, taking a bit of time before spring really hits. Because the phone just does not stop in springtime. Um, it's been consistent over winter. For these three months, it's been 10, 10 a week um, on average. But it's like 5 to 10 a day in spring. It's crazy. Um, and then from spring, from September, right through till about March, April, it starts to die off. But it's that consistent 5 to 10. And that's where... That's that growth period where if I can get people that want to actually um, commit and stay on board for forever, because this isn't going anywhere, that's the goal. All right, I'll see you at the end, guys. Cheers. Bye. All right, thanks for watching. All blown down, man. That was dusty out there today. Both properties done, guys, so let's check the time for you real quick. Get in the shade and see if you can see that. Try it here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Now yeah, you should have it. Just before 12.30. Like clockwork. Another reason why I love this job. Thank you very much for watching guys. I'll get this edited. Um, comment away if you've got any questions and I'll redeem yourself. It's 355 it was before. Uh, that figure instead of 335. Like I said, when I get on here, try and talk about figures. Whew. Train of thought goes. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oi, just getting home, guys. Bit of bonus footage. Not of me eating. <laughs> but it is that hedge trimmer. Sorry if uh, you got any of my apple spray just then. Uh, from being sharpened. I didn't speak about it, I don't think, in today's video, but. Just like butter, all right? It is worth keeping uh, on the upkeep. That was well and truly overdue, that one, uh, simply due to the fact uh, I was at a Hungry Jack's commercial property earlier in the week. I've got some grass plants there that tend to really jam the blades because it just folds them flat and they stick to the uh, actual blades themselves in between each tooth. And so what happened with it being sharper, just gliding right through. Um, I was very surprised. So that'll be done a bit more regularly than I do or have done in the past, simply for those type of plants. You don't notice it too much on the hedge trimming, but you definitely notice it when it is the, uh, the grass plant. So nice bit of footage for you there, and I'll uh, leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.